In this video, we're going over how to transfer all your data from an old phone to your Samsung Galaxy A32. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. If you find this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button down below. Consider subscribing and hitting that thanks button to leave a tip. We're gonna walk you through today how to transfer all of your data from an old phone to your new Samsung Galaxy phone, specifically in this video, the Samsung Galaxy A32. So um, I have an old phone here. This is the phone we're gonna be transferring the data from. And I'm gonna just walk you through the basics of how this works so that it's very simple. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing is this, um, depending on where you bought your phone, you might be doing the initial setup or your phone might already be on this screen. So I'm gonna walk you through, I'm just gonna just briefly touch on two things you might see to get your process started. So the first thing is, if you bought your phone online and you've taken it out of the box and you're doing the full setup, then in the initial setup, there is a screen after you connect to your Wi-Fi, it's gonna ask you uh, if you wanna copy apps and data from an old phone. If you get to this screen, it's super easy. You just hit, need to hit next, and it's gonna ask you to put the old phone next to the new phone, and it will download the Smart Switch app to get the process started. However, if you bought your phone from a store, like uh, Verizon or AT&T, T-Mobile, Metro, whatever, then your phone might already be on this screen. You might have bypassed that screen. So I wanna still show you how to get to downloading that app because Samsung has a special app that um, you download that will help you transfer all the files for you. So if you weren't, uh, if you didn't have that uh, setup that I just showed you here, no problem. What you're gonna do is on your new Samsung Galaxy phone, swipe down from the top of the screen. In the upper right corner, tap on the little settings wheel right here. You're gonna go all the way down to the accounts and backup section. From here, look for where it says bring data from old phone, and then tap download. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna download the Samsung Smart Switch app. It looks like I need to connect to Wi-Fi again, so I'm just gonna swipe down from the top. And if you haven't connected to your Wi-Fi yet, you'll see quickly what the process is, which is just swiping down from the top of the screen, holding down on this icon, which is your Wi-Fi icon. And here we're gonna just turn it on, and then we'll find our Wi-Fi network in the list. Now mine connected automatically, which usually it won't do that. Usually you'll need to just tap on the network, and then you'll type in the password. So if you haven't already connected, make sure your phone is on Wi-Fi first by finding your network and putting in the password. Now that we're on Wi-Fi, I'm just gonna go back and tap again to bring data from old device. Tap download, and it will begin to download the Samsung Smart Switch app. Now while we're downloading it on the new phone, on your old phone, you will also need to download the Samsung Smart Switch app. So on, the, on your old phone, make sure it's on and make sure it's connected to Wi-Fi. And you're gonna tap on the Play Store right here. And you're just gonna do a search for Samsung Smart Switch. And if you see it as I'm typing Samsung, it's already coming up, Samsung Smart Switch. Tap there. We're gonna tap on update. Yours might say update or it might say install. Either way, tap the green button and make sure it downloads the app onto the phone. And once it downloads, you should see this on the main screen of your phone. Now, there are a couple of cases I just wanna point out. Let's hit open here. There are some phones every so often where um, you try to search for Samsung Smart Switch and it does not come up in the Play Store. If that happens to you, in the description of this video, I will have a link to where you can download the Samsung Smart Switch app uh, separately for your phone. So just be aware, every so often there are some phones that block the app, and in that case, you do have to manually download it. So check out that link in the description um, that will just say how to download Samsung Smart Switch and that will help you get the app. Okay, let's keep moving forward. So now we have the app on both phones and 
it's time to just get started. So first on our new phone, on our Samsung Galaxy on this side, we're gonna tap agree, allow, and we're gonna tap, uh, well actually let's hold here. Now on the old phone, I'm gonna tap let's go. I'm gonna tap wireless. And let's tap okay. And now on this side, we're gonna tap receiving data. And we're coming from an Android phone, so we're gonna tap a Galaxy slash Android. Wireless. Disconnect. And now both phones are gonna start looking for each other to connect. Here it is, invitation to connect right here. Tap accept. And after a few seconds, they will find each other. And now, perfect, it says connected to Galaxy. And now this is searching through the phone to see all of the um, data from this phone to transfer over. So as you can see, it's already done a quick um, catalog of everything on this phone. And you can see here, there's a, a couple of contacts, a couple of messages, apps, um, a few images and some videos. Now, one important thing I want to point out here, this is one of the few apps that will let you transfer uh, text messages. And I've seen this work probably 90% of the time. It should be able to take all of the text messages from this old phone to the new phone. There was a case recently where I was not, for some reason the app wouldn't pull text messages over. So I want you to be aware of that. Most of the time that works but every so often it doesn't, and I just want you to be aware of that. Um, okay, so basically you just wanna make sure the select all button is selected here, this little blue check here. It means it's gonna take everything from that old phone to the new phone, swipe up, and we're gonna tap transfer. Now, um, at this point, there's nothing else you need to do. You need to keep these phones um, next to each other, and what I like to do is I like to tap keep screen on just so I can see the progress, make sure the transfer is still going. Um, put these phones together, put them to the side and let them do the transfer. Um, you will notice the transfer is gonna happen very quickly in the video because I didn't have a lot of data on this old phone. Um, you should block out about an hour, sometimes up to two hours if you had a lot of data on that old phone. Let the phone sit let it transfer and you'll know it's finished because first you'll see on the new phone, it's gonna say transfer complete. And when it's complete, it's still gonna take the phone some additional time to start moving all those files where they go. But essentially this is what it's gonna look like when the transfer is done. So your old phone, it'll say you're all done. You can hit close and guess what? We no longer need the old phone, it's done. Now on your new Galaxy phone here, see it says we're done transferring. Now we're organizing your transfer data in the background and we'll let you know when this is finished. In the meantime, enjoy your phone. So at this point, you can now begin to use your phone. So tap, go to home screen and you can start playing around and learning how your phone works and your data is still gonna be organizing in the background of the phone, putting everything where it needs to go. So, um, that essentially is the process of transferring all your data from an old phone to your new Samsung Galaxy phone. Um, I hope you guys found this helpful. I'm gonna leave uh, some links to two helpful videos here and here um, that will pop up in a second that are gonna be some cool tips and tricks on how to use this phone and some other really helpful resources on just learning all that this phone can do. So check out those videos. Hope you guys found this helpful. Like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.